Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. I purchased these two diamond paintings quite a while ago on AliExpress. I did receive them mm, a couple weeks ago, just never got around to unboxing them for you. So let's take a look. I know, I know, I always say it. I needed diamond paintings like I need a hole in the head. Or I should say more diamond paintings, but oh my gosh. Wait till you see these and you'll see why I just couldn't pass them up. All right, let's get through the label here. There we go. So this one actually did come in a box. Very few of them come in boxes anymore. They seem to come in those bubble envelope type things, which crinkle them a heck of a lot more than the boxes do. Even though the boxes get crinkled and stuff too, as you can see, it's uh, kind of been damaging transit, but I have seen much worse, so this one isn't too bad. And of course, this is never the seller's fault. This is the shipping and, you know, coming all the way from a China. Okay, now this is taped on the end and the box is so crinkled it is going to be a little difficult for me to open. Come on, come on, I'm on camera, don't make this difficult. They like to do that to me, you know, embarrass people. All right, it is open. So I ordered two of these. I think there's a total in this whole set. I think there were like a dozen to pick from. To me, these were the cutest too though. So you get a toolkit with every one that you order, of course. We get, wow, two uh, rectangles of wax. That's enough to do about a dozen diamond paintings right there. <laughs> um, you get the white tray with the spout, my favorite kind. You get the white drill pen, single placer, and three placer with the cushion. Nice. And you get an attachment, which is a straightener. And then you get the metal tweezers with the really sharp tip. Okay, so that's what's in both toolkits, so of course. Let's look at the canvases. These are so wonderful. All right. Yeah, I, I just I couldn't pack some more. So hopefully I'll be able to get these packed back up <laughs> in there. It is by, well, so many of them say Huacan. Huacan has, you know, if you've ordered from AliExpress, you know Huacan is represented by a gazillion different companies, different stores, I should say, out on AliExpress. You will see Huacan on tons of different companies or sellers, I should say, uh, diamond paintings. So, And Huacan was, at one point last year, having a problem with their quality control, evidently, because, yeah, a lot of problems with the canvases, with the, the glue, the double-sided sticky glue, um, you know, with the uh, ripples and rivers and the drills being a little too big and when you're doing a sorry about that when you're doing a square diamond painting if those drills do not fit properly on your canvas yeah big time popping drill problem and i did have a couple of those and oh yeah there's nothing so frustrating but uh, they seem to have gotten their act together and things are pretty good now again. So these do come rolled on uh, the foam, the foam rollers, and uh, that's nice because look how pristine this canvas is. So even though the box was quite banged up, the canvas is perfect. Okay, I will be back in one minute. Doody doody. I am back. Yep. All right. So, yeah, this really looks nice and flat, but let's see if we have any rivers or any problems with that because when you get this opaque covering, 
as you may very well know, you get the double-sided sticky rather than the uh, poured glue. And that's when you can have some problems. Now, when you pull these off, if it is wrinkled whatsoever, once you pull these off, it really straightens out quite well. So these do have narrow strips on which I do like. Not sure if I will uh, actually take these off then and put parchment paper on or not. Where's my knife? Here's the tape that was on here. Hmm, okay. Let, let's go this way. Gotta make it difficult, don't they? Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Okay, let's get this tape off of here. There we go. Okay, now let's peel this back. Looking cute so far? I will show you the thumbnail picture. And last but not least, I like to always push this down in the corner before I pull this up. Sometimes when you pull up the corner, you'll start pulling up the double-sided uh, sticky. So if you rub down the cover paper first, it kind of eliminates that problem. Okay, now right off the bat, you can see where each of these strips are laid down, but it's not really a true river. So um, I don't think that's going to be a problem at all. You can see a few lines in here, but they're not raised or anything. So that shouldn't be a problem either. But the rest of it looks very, very good. No rivers, no nothing. Okay, so that's this side. I'm not going to worry about the other side because I don't need this flattened out right now. But you can see how this completely flattened out this side versus this side. <laughs> I'm going to be rolling it back up anyhow around that foam roller though and storing it in the box, especially for transport while I am moving. Um, but let me zoom in and you can see the picture. Yeah, you don't want to see my hand. Look at these two. Are they not adorable? I was going to pick it up, but I don't know if... It is so cute. Two little babies sitting in a teacup. The little girls kissing the little boy. Is that not cute? <laughs> like I said, there were like a dozen or so to pick from with the, with the little babies. Oh, between this one and the next one. Oh, God, they're so adorable. 45 colors in this, baby. So lots and lots of colors. This is a 40 by 50. Again, you could order it in pretty much any size you wanted. 30 by 40, 40 by 50. I think there was 50 by 60, 60 by 70, I think, even. Um, and uh, so, yeah. I thought 40 by 50 is pretty much a size that I like. So, this is Y1508. So, let's see which pack of drills. Now, this is a full square. Let's see. This is 5806. Okay, so it would be this pack of drills. Yes, 5806. No, 5806. This is 5808. Duh. Right? Yes, 5806. Oh, and these are nicely packaged in the little bags. Yay, hooray. Okay, let's put this back out again. Look at these pretty colors. So these are much nicer to repackage. <laughs> because I tell you, those, those little... Babies that, you know, the little 
I wouldn't call them babies, what would you call them? But you have to cut open each individual one. Those are a bugger to repackage back up and try to fit everything together. Oh, this is a big bag. Okay. Wow. Let's look at these pretty colors. Lots of pinks and not reds. I guess more pinks than anything. And I guess, of course, some skin tones. Let's zoom back in a little and look at these. So, yeah, these are so nice to kit up. Um, you really don't have to do inventory. You'll see the color number here so and the DMC. So you can kit it up either using just the number or the DMC code. And then this last number tells you how many drills um, that particular color you know, is needed to complete the diamond painting. And they always give you more than you need. Typically, they give you 20% more than what you need. So if you have some bad drills, which of course you will, more so in square even than the rounds. Um, the rounds, of course, you can have some bubbling or, or concaving on the bottom. But sometimes you get some of the little tabs sticking out on the side of, of the square drills. So, yeah. Typically, I have more trash drills when I do a square drill. Oh, look at that pretty pink. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, and a lot of coral colors. Oh, my gosh. Look at this color. There isn't that. Now, on camera, it looks much more yellow than it, it does in person. It's much more of a pinky orange beautiful so yes tons and tons of pinks oh look at that one kind of like a fuchsia and we even have a purple <laughs> so yeah here's a skin tone some mauves on the purple side though pretty burgundy a little bit of more of pink Oh, more. Oh, this one is jam packed. This is that one that uh, was so many of. There was over 2,500 drills needed. So there's probably about 26, 2,700 in here. Lots of your earth tones. And some more pinks and orangey reds. Oh, that's a pretty pink. Get on camera, Lisa. They look almost identical, but I, I'm assuming they're different numbers. 929 and 431, but yeah, very similar. Oh, isn't that going to be pretty? So pretty. Here's another skin tone. What else do we have here? Look at that gorgeous purple. It's kind of like a blue purple. Very shimmery. Couple of greens. It must be, yeah, that's in the background because there's a real, uh, like a fuzzy floral background, like a blurry one, I should say. That must be for the flowers. Here's a real deep, deep green, like a blue green. Some more pretty, like oranges. A couple more skin tones that I'm assuming will be in the babies. That's all going to be in the babies. Yeah, they're pretty purple. Oh, beautiful. Lot of colors in here for a uh, for a 40 by 50. Holy cow, look at that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, going to be so much fun. Okay, I'm going to put this one on the floor. I have done so many diamond painting unboxings and unbaggings today. Yeah, the floor behind me mm, is going to take me forever to get everything put back in the appropriate boxes and bags. Alrighty, let's look at the next one. Yeah, my floor is uh, beginning to look like a diamond painting store. 
Uh, yeah, and we won't even talk about my diamond paintings in storage, will we? Boop, 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 we won't. Mm -mm. We only have one or two. <laughs> okay, let's peel this off this time so we don't have the same problem we did last time. There we go. I'm going to keep this tape though so when I roll this back up, I can keep it in place. Okay, before I even unwrap this one, I'm going to zoom in and show you the picture. Look at that. Little baby sleeping, laying in the hand. Oh, I just thought that was so cute. So yeah, out of the dozen or so pictures, these two were my absolute favorite. This being my absolute favorite. So cute. How right are So here there are 45 colors also. Weren't there about that many in the other one? And this again is a 40 by 50. So we're going to have very similar colors. Again, nicely wrapped around that foam roller, which is so nice. I love it when they do that. I mean, look how nice condition this is in. We'll zoom back out. That would help. Um, so, again, let's look and make sure there are no river problems. And, again, we have these thin strips. We didn't really look at the symbols on the last one, did we? Oh, they are crystal clear. I love it. Look at that. Oh, my camera's kind of fuzzy, though, close up. I wonder why it's doing that tonight. But, yes, they are clear as a bell. Where did that phrase ever come from? Clear as a bell. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, let me zoom back out so you're not looking at my hand. At least not just looking at my hand. We'll flatten out this side anyhow, and you can kind of see. There's the, oh, the baby isn't sleeping. Eyes are open. Isn't that adorable, though? Oh, my gosh. I clipped all my nails off because of all the moving and boxing up and I could use them right now. So again, you can see where each strip is, but yeah, there's not going to be a problem with that at all. Oh, God, this is so cute. And if I can, I, again, I'll, I'll link these down below in case you would like to get them yourself. I apologize for the glare. It's getting dark outside, so I have my lights on. Look at... Aw, Amy. He or she. Not sure. <laughs> when you're that little, it could be either or. And I hope they're not showing the little parts down here. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Just the way he or she is lying. But, oh my gosh, look at all these shades of like red and, and red browns. And then all this pink background. But lots of shades of pink. Wowie, wowie. I want to see if there's any, a lot of symbols in these two. A lot of those you get from AliExpress do use a lot of symbols. Which don't bother me as long as you can read them clearly. And yes, these are very, very clear. There are a few letters. Um, even these that are close in color, though, very easily read. Very easily. Um, and I don't see anywhere, because they have, like, up arrows. And I think there's, like, a side arrow. So sometimes, nope, no side arrow in this one. Sometimes those get to be a little confusing, especially if they're similar in color. <laughs> but no, I don't see that on here at all. No similar symbols next to each other, which is great. So again, you can see how this side 
got flattened out just by releasing this paper. It, it just kind of lets, you know, the canvas stretch out. And, yeah, just flattens out so nice, especially when the canvas is in this good of condition. And, again, this is a really nice, heavy canvas. Um, again, your color key is just on the one side, though. And when you start getting to larger ones like this, it really would be nice to have it down over here also. I think so, anyhow. Because when you're down, way down in this corner, I always start from the upper left, and I work across, and then I come down and I do it that way, so that by the time you get down here, really would be nice to have it over here, rather than having to refer to it way over here. When I have my huge diamond paintings, like the 70 by 90 that I'm working on, my big waterfall, I made a photocopy of it. And uh, so then I refer to that photocopy, um, and that helps a lot. So, you know, as long as it's legible and you can kind of make out the colors, of course, the colors aren't going to come out really clear because you're, you're making a photocopy of this. But as long as I can read everything and what the symbol is, you know, that's what's most important. So, all right, let's look at the drills for this one. Oh, look at all them pinks and skin tones. Ooh, we got some big bags in this one. I see one big one of pink anyhow. At least it kind of looks like it. We shall see. All right, ready to open, ready to open. I think this is another one of those big bags, which is nice because then you're not trying to jam pack all the drills in. I mean, you still have to you know, roll them up kind of tight. Oh, uh, no, I see loose drills. That means a bag came up, and then I think it's this one. Darn, I didn't do that to the other one. I usually, when I put them back, I usually squeeze each one because they can get loose in transit. So, ooh, and that one's stuck. So, yeah, I mean, it, it does happen. And these each feel, oh my gosh, look at this color. Okay, most of them, oh, and this is jam-packed. Most of them are just fine. And it's not one of these colors, so. Whew, I'm going to take them out one at a time. Holy cow, look at all that off-white. It's like an ivory. We have just a few 310s, and these are stuck to the label. Mmm. The canvas is really great. I'm having a problem with the drills, though. Alrighty. Yeah, and the uh, labels are kind of sticking to each other. Oh, look at these pretties now. You know, these are all going to be the skin tones. Let's look at all of those. Now, of course, you know, right here they don't look like skin tones. But it's all the shading and, and whatnot in the picture. And it's one of these that has spilt in here. I can't tell. No, it's darker color than this one. Yeah, see, this is a big, big, lots of that skin tone. And they must not have fit in one of these. Just like this one. Oh, look at all the hitchhikers. Holy cow, hitching a ride. Not supposed to do that in this day and age. That's the bag's fault for picking them up, right? Okay, another going color going into baby. Oh, pretty, like a mauve, kind of a purplish. Yeah, and these are all going to be, uh, I'm sure, in the skin. Well, part of this is going to be the shading on the hand. Another gorgeous lilac color. I haven't really come across the one that I think is open, though. Unless it was one of them first ones that I sealed back shut, but it, look, it looks like a darker color than those. And naturally, some of these are stuck under these labels, so the labels must not be on real tight. You must have just slapped them on there. Ooh, I love that pink. Very pretty. Alright, 
we have some browns. There's another pretty pink. Another lighter brown. So some more shading colors. Yep, more shades. Oh, and there are quite a few in this bag. Oh, beautiful maroon. And another one. I'm just dying to find the one that's open. And it's darker than this one. Here's a pretty skin tone. And yet it's not that dark. So it's in between. This is a 922. Really super dark gray. It's almost black. Ah, I wonder if it's this one. Nope, it's darker than this too. <laughs> That's a pretty peach. They are looking more yellow on camera than they are in real life. Oh, look at that. Kind of a fuchsia color. Oh, pretty. Yeah, I don't see it in here. Some more reds and oranges. It's not that one either. Mmm. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, there's a pretty red orange. Kind of a coral color. Kind of a deep reddish brown. And just two left. So, hmm. I'll have to go back and see. Which color is in here? Pretty, right? Alright, so it is kind of a... Oh, it's this color. Yep. It is 998. Oh yeah, this bag is open. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, so I'm going to leave this one over here. I'm not going to bother putting them all back in that bag on camera. That would be rather boring, wouldn't it? Alrighty, so those are my two absolutely adorable baby diamond paintings from AliExpress. Again, if I can, I will link them in the description down below. Um, and you can look at all the other babies that, that come in this uh, collection. So... Okay, well thank you so much for watching this unboxing. I hope you enjoyed looking at these adorable diamond paintings. If you enjoyed it, please hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're new to my channel. I hope everybody's having a fantastic day. And as always, happy coloring and happy diamond painting. <laughs> Bye guys.